cool. All right. Man, when I do this with my back to the camera, it looks really weird. Here, if I if I angle the camera up. There you go. <laughs> hey, what, the what you doing? <laughs> just, just, just having fun, man. Just chilling on the ocean. Don't mind me. Hold on, I have to. Where's my? It's not even. Oh, ah. Stop. For some reason. There we go. I pressed the wrong button. What I wanted to do was this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring mine. Oh, I didn't bring mine either. Fuck. I, I thought about it after I got here. I ended up making a... I don't know if you guys have found bamboo yet. I made a pan flute the other day. Ooh, I have not Ooh, found bamboo really? yet. really? Okay. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to T-Spence Pro. Thank you for that 5,000 bit drop earlier, dude. Yo, thank you. Yeah, you look like you're, t you're, you're spinning for me. I know. You're... You have Whee! to, like, gingerly touch it. <laughs> it won't look uh, like it for That's you, but soothing. the secret is if you hold A with your net uh, to people who aren't you, it looks like you're just spinning. So if you so if you Fuck. hold A on your net, yeah, it won't yeah, look like, like it for like you. Yeah, ready to hit. It, it won't look like it for you so much because you'll see yourself like prepping to hit, but to other people it looks like you're just doing the neutral stance and spinning. So this? Yeah. To, to me, right. it just looks like you're just yeah, it looks like you're just spinning around. Spinning. And you can do it really fast. Yeah, just got a firm <laughs> grasp. Whoop! Oh, here I have. I didn't realize I had more. Here, you you take these. Oh, more peaches. Grant, do you need peaches? Uh, I got quite a few peaches, actually, so I'm good. All right, I, more peaches. I'm gonna have a fucking orchard here. Get you all them peaches. Yeah, do you guys have any specific times when you normally stream, just for the people who are still hanging around? Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say. You're, you're not a schedule guy, you're just like, eh, whatever. Nighttime. I, I very rarely streamed while the sun was up. I'll give you that much. Whenever uh, I say it on Twitter, <laughs> that's when I'm streaming. I stream at random times, but I, I try to stick to around like 7 or 8 o'clock as my usual go, like, start time. I wish I could have a schedule, but I always feel bad. Like, I don't know. I, I, like, can't, I, I can't do it. I never feel like I can stick to it. It's my problem. Yeah. That's yeah, what I, I mean, feel. I'm just yeah. like... I don't feel like it right now. I'm going to be just dialing it in, and then that's... Why am I even doing this? Why Why do I even? That's... Yeah, that's that's life. I feel that. I feel that pretty hard. It's nice with a game like this, though. It's hard to... It's hard to be anything but, you know, chill with it. Yeah. Unlike with, like... I can't I can't do chill doom because I, I get the you get the adrenaline too hard. <laughs> I play so many games weird and like a chill style. I'm that's why I'm I love doing Animal Crossing because everybody expects that. Nobody expects it if I'm streaming Kakarot where I'm spending two hours flying around on Nimbus because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> right. I haven't done anything with vehicles in that. Are there like other air vehicles you can actually unlock? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've only beaten the Saiyan Saga. I, I did it all in one sitting. I gotta go back and do more. You've, you've basically played the game. I mean, there's some good moments and stuff in it. I really like it. I, I wish the combat was a bit deeper, but I'm, I'm still like... The reason I'm playing that game is to actually explore like, I spent half of my playtime in Budokai 3 flying around that fucking world oh, map. same. Like, and just, this is the, f I could walk from Go, I literally, I did this. I walked from Goku's house to Orange Star High, like, as Gohan. And I was like, this is the school I'm going to be going to, because I'm a loser. Oh, but, but it was really fun. Yeah, but dude, you do that, though. That's, that's what that game's about. It's about those little fan moments. I was, um... I was really shocked, actually, that when uh, Kaiser and I were playing, I realized he doesn't un he doesn't know what the layout of Dragon World is. I learned it from the games. Right? Same. I don't so think I, he played the games a ton. I, I guess not. Because I'm don't like, think I can do, do it from memory or anything. I, I have, I'd have like a relative idea of where some things were. But I, I, I bet. Really I bet if I asked you, like, if if there's just a blank map with none of the, uh, none of the shit on it. I could ask you where Baba's Palace is and where West City is. Yeah, I could I could put you put you to that only because of Budokai 3. <laughs> I mean, even um uh, and and the 
best part is like all of the games, uh, including like Boo's Fury and Legacy of Goku 2, they all have the same map layout. Yeah, so yeah. It's really cool. It's a consistent world. I think there was like already like a map in a guidebook in Japan or something that they were referencing. So it was probably out there, but like, yeah, I don't know. No, I, I love shit like that. I, I have been surprised, though, that I have not been able to, like... Because I, I thought when the Majin Buu arc opened up and they were going to give you that second patch of desert to explore, that that would be where they kept Baba's Palace, but it wasn't. Like, Baba's oh, Palace really? just isn't in that game for some reason. Oh, that sucks. Or maybe it is, and it's just I have yet to see it, but... Ooh, tiger butterflies. Tiger, okay. tiger. Tiger! 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 I found a peacock butterfly today, and Ooh. I think they only show up on certain flowers, and I found blue, like, tulips or something on an island the other day, and I'd never seen those before, so I grabbed them. And I feel like I, they made up... seeing peacock butterflies, so I think that that's where they showed up. They made up ten different kinds of flower. I've never heard of a cosmos. <laughs> The closest I've... thing I've heard is a cosmopolitan, and that's a drink. Very different kind of flower, that. <laughs> I Ugh. definitely feel like there are a lot more flower varieties in this game. Because I remember, like, tulips and roses and stuff, and, like, your, your basics, your, your general flowers. But, yeah, they, I feel like they added a few. Probably Inne made them up. Inevitable ruffian, <laughs> thing of the 35 months. Uh, Kieran, Grant, and Lanny. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, just... Post podcast, the talk cast pod show, just chilling out here on Lanamania. I like these little like rock outcropping on the beaches. That you I know on. they're so like, cool. Those are real fun. Uh, I, really... I love that you can go to like there a little uh, a little beach to the north of your island. Just that not being an impassable mountain or wall like a cliff face is so mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, just that it's it's a new horizon. Yeah. Ah, like the name of the game. Yeah. Can't remember if I needed to keep a dab for blathers, so I'll keep a dab for blathers. I found something buried over here, probably a fossil. I would assume. Oh yeah, you got you got a fossil over here too, probably. Careful, it might be one of my neighbors. I'm sorry, ex neighbors. Oh yeah. So I've been sending uh, letters to my neighbors just in case someone visits my town because if this works like the GameCube one, they'll show off your letters to, to visitors. What? Uh, and so I've just been trying to make a narrative among my villagers where I'm just like, all right, I've got this lion and this rabbit. So I'm going to start at the narrative that the lion murdered the rat, one of the rabbit's family members. Uh, <laughs> and just be like, but no one knows about it except for me. <laughs> so I'm like, so it's, it's our little secret. So I sent, I sent Rory the lion, like, you gotta tell Dottie about what happened. You, like, cause his like, <laughs> pers his personality right. type, his personality type is like an exercise, like nut. So I'm like, you can run all you want, but you can't run away from the guilt for murdering Dottie's sister. <laughs> You're gonna have to say something. Uh, and then I sent Dottie a message that just says like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Your sister was a, was a beautiful member of this <laughs> and, she'll be missed. Uh, and then to Savannah, the horse in my town, I'm like, I think Rory had something to do with Dottie's sister. Uh, don't believe his lies. If something happens to me, tell my story. <laughs> Just rear windowing yourself. Yeah. And so, you know, in case anyone ever happens to visit and talks to my townies and anyone who moves in, I'm going to send them a message of, of similar style to get them roped into the narrative. Uh... <laughs> And so it's just like a weird little uh, background narrative that you can find. You're creating a crypto story. Yeah. You go that's, hard in these. I wish I could do that. That's always been my favorite thing about these. Was like in the first game, you could like make designs and stuff, and they could be if you and a friend both had a memory card in the GameCube, uh, people from their town could start picking up your designs. Mm -hmm. And my goal was to just make a gang outfit and have everyone in all of my friends' towns wearing it and be like, they might live in your town, but they're loyal to me. Just transferring, just transferring your style. Pretty much. That's pretty great. Yeah, I haven't done much of the uh, customizing stuff or anything. I've just been getting started. 
I always feel uh, bad when people are like, oh, let's, let's go visit each other's towns. I'm like, but I have so many things to do and all this wood to chop. <laughs> and I ends. still don't have a store. My tasks. I've been afraid to build my store because I know when I do that, it's going to take like a day for it to show up. And I hear the nightmare stories of it's closed. And I'm like, I only play at night. It, it closes, but they have a box for you to drop your stuff off if you want to sell stuff to like empty out your inventory. The only drawback is they only buy it for 80% of its value if you're selling it after. It Are closes. you serious? Yes. That's ridiculous. I'm never building a store. No, then I'm I'm okay. Then I, now that makes sense. I saw somebody just drop all their shit off at the closed store. Said, yeah. "Fuck you. You're not taking my 20%." And I'm like, "Is that is that some kind of is that like a joke?" Uh, okay, but I'm no, I guess I'm doing that. I'm just dropping everything off in front of the store and they can climb through it in their fucking door. Tom, Tommy, and Timmy are living in that tent forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's happening. Well, uh, okay, if you This is the ahead. first time I've seen the sun in this game since I first booted it up, by the way. <laughs> it looks so nice when it's sunny out, though. It does! But, uh, if, if you go with that route, I'll go ahead and tell you, you might never see it as a... Oh no! What? What do you mean? I like, need a town center for her. I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's just like this game technically has a story in that there is like a progression, like events yeah. won't happen until other things open, and so it's the, the events that bring Isabel around don't happen until your your uh, I think until your tent gets up your citizen your citizens resident citizen thing gets tent uh, upgraded. Until that tent stops being a tent, Isabel won't show up. Angel, thank you so much for gifting a sub to ReezyOG15 and Doomp12. Doomp. Welcome to the team, guys. Oh well, I, gu I guess what? after the I guess after you have the store, you don't like. You you already get paid shit for most of this stuff anyway, so I guess the twenty percent doesn't matter too much. Uh, my uh, another question I have is how how do you guys feel about uh like time traveling in this, like switching your clock around? I, I did it so much in New Leaf because I was playing on my own. I didn't give a shit. Uh, I wouldn't do it on here just because there's already so much to do. If it was like if it was like I said, like you know, you only play the game for an hour and then you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, I'll, I I want to keep playing. I guess I'm time traveling. I never feel like there's nothing I need to be doing in this. That's fair. Yeah, I, I don't see the need to time travel here unless I wanted to play. You know what? If I did want to play during the day, I could have just set myself to a different time zone. I should have just said I'm in Australia. And then every time I'm playing, I'm... <laughs> yeah. I do like that when you start, it like asks what hemisphere of the earth you're on, so it chooses your seasonal pattern. And better than that, even though like it says like, oh, you're there. Do you want to be there? <laughs> is, that, is that where your island should be? Do you, or do you like? Do you want it to be spring right now or fall? Is the question. But yeah, I I, I am also not a not a time traveler, uh, though I, I do think like. Not necessarily like you're terrible if you do it, but it's it's one of those that I I think part of the joy of this game is like is the is the rhythm it gives you, and just like the nah take it easy today's done it's fine yeah yeah do do what you do hey look you got some nook miles you can buy a new hair style with that uh, although I will admit it is a bit of a bummer when you're like oh man I want to do this and they're like we're closed today because we're remodeling or something like, fuck. Uh. So I, yeah, I, I can understand why. There, there is a lot of waiting in this game. I will say that. Like I, I kind of expected to have the museum today after I got him all his shit. Nope. Yeah, you, you give him all the stuff and then he takes a day. It's got to take some time. I'm just glad I'm able to almost fully explore this place. I just need a ladder. Or whatever rock climbing gear. I think it was a ladder. I saw you using a ladder, Karen. Yeah, there's like a little ladder thing. Oh, do you need the ladder? You can have this one. I can I can just get another one when I get back. Oh shit. Didn't even think about that. That's true. You can just hand off the hand off the ladder. I could have had a pull on day one if I had Oh wait, no. Uh, you can't access the airport on day one. What part I'm of the by your, are uh, I'm by the tent. Alright. <laughs> This will unlock the entire rest of my island. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of fossils up on, uh, up on the north. I like how when you're going into your inventory, it's like you're just you put on that ponder face. Just yeah. Hmm. 
There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, ladder get. Do you know, uh, okay, so I see a rock here. Do you know the secret for maximizing what you're getting out of rocks? I know you have to smack it as quickly as possible, but is there another trick that so, I don't so know? There's, there's a, a trickeroni. Oh, I don't, I, I'm not a best friend, so I can't pull out a shovel. Uh, but, um, but you you're, basically- But you're my only friend on my Switch, Grant. <laughs> but you, you make two holes behind you, like side by side, make sure none of the holes are- Oh, the so, so that, that you way can't you don't go get backwards. Back. Yes, yeah. yeah to keep That's from being smart. There's shit like that with uh, getting tarantulas too. You can like, they can't cross over holes, but your net goes over the hole. So, so you build yourself a little barricade. Yeah. So you just angle yourself and boop. Oh, I already drained this rock. But the, the idea is in practice. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. Nice little tip. Nice. Tips and tricks. There's new That's bulletins on my board. Been a been a thing since since the first game. So they have this lore of different islands. How do they reconcile different Tom Nooks and Timmy and Tommy? <laughs> Thanks for the message, Grant, by the way. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, um, well, I, the way I see it is Tom Nook is a very busy raccoon. And, uh, so he does not exist. So it's it's like Tom, Tom Nook. Is, Tom Nook is a concept. Quantum Nook, we call him. Yeah, Quantum, Quantum Nook. He's on, he's only there when you look at him. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you're not in the tent, he's at someone else's tent. Okay, that makes sense. That it's or like every uh, raccoon is just part Tom Nook. It's like a Xehanort thing. They've all been nooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a uh, Mickey. Whenever you go to well, I mean, I guess it's closed right now, but. Uh, in Disney World, the characters, any one of them, is not allowed to show up at uh, two different parks at the same time to maintain the illusion, like to maintain the, what? there's only All one. Right. There is only one Mickey. We can't have a Mickey at the Magic Kingdom and at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, so like Mickey can't go, like Safari Mickey can't show up at the same time as Mickey's driving the train. At, what if like, there's Magic a Kingdom. sniper looking at both both uh, both parks and he sees two Mickeys? He'll know it's a lie. We exactly, and he, and he won't know which one to shoot and the innocent Mickey might die. You gotta think about that. Yeah, only the guilty one should die. Yeah. Only guilty Mickeys. <laughs> Not all Mickeys. <laughs> but yeah, it's to make sure that if like a, uh, let's say a large family shows up and one kid goes to uh, Animal Kingdom and the other one goes to the Magic Kingdom and one says, oh, I just saw Mickey and the other one does at the same time. I saw him too. Then uh -oh. the, the, Wait the, the, a minute. the illusion to be shattered. It's just like Santa. One mm -hmm. of them has to be the real Mickey, son. Or maybe he was lying, and then that family turns against each other, and there's just this blood fo feud for years about who saw the real Mickey. I was blessed by the mouse, not that idiot brother of mine. He saw a fake. Yeah, he, he, do not believe the false mouse's lies. <laughs> do I need the ladder to climb down, or can I just jump like a man? Nope, need the ladder. Yeah, gotta climb. Which that's why I, I realized that that stuff like that and the rivers and stuff is why your phone has the little rescue app on it. Because at first I was like, who would ever need this? Why would that be a thing? But I guess if, you know, if Kieran decided to hand you the ladder while you guys were on the cliff, he would have been screwed. Oh yep. yeah, that makes sense. Because I guess, I guess you can dispose of an item while you're somewhere. Because I kept thinking about that. I'm like, because the, the, the transportation items, they can't break, right? Uh, yeah, correct. they can't break. But I could drop them. Oh shit, Tom Nook's Lone Shark is here. They've come to collect from uh, us all here in chat. Sorry, we'll, we'll get you your bells, man. I promise. <laughs> Here's the thing, something I never really noticed. Uh, Tom, Tom Nook is not a landlord. The only thing he's charging you for is labor and materials. Like, the land is not his. So it's really you are paying off a loan that you have taken. He's he's very he's very he's very fair about it too. Yeah, he doesn't he's, ask for he's interest so or anything. nice. Can you imagine any fucking dude being like that? Yeah, I pay it back whenever. You don't really have to. Just you know, I can't really do anything until you pay that off. Yeah, he is he is the dude of loan sharks. <laughs> yeah, man, just pay it off whatever you want, man. Like just look at him. He looks so fucking chill with his like downed eyebrows. 
I like his like. I, I feel like this is a retirement outfit that he wears in this game. Yes. Yeah, he looks like he's basically. He looks tired. I've made my millions. Now you're gonna run this town for me. Murphy's Law. Thank you for the 20 month resub, man. Striberx hoping that we're all doing all right. Well, I think we're doing pretty pretty fine. Uh, I, I think it, I think I think it's I think it's safe to say we're all fairly introverted people as is. So the uh, social so the social distancing hasn't been that much of a stretch. It's one of those things where it feels weird that I feel like I have socially interacted with more people since this has started because they've all come to my domain, the internet. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Everyone going like, oh, I can't talk to anybody. What's up? Like, hey, I've always been here. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah, things, things have been... Things have been fine. Just waiting it all out. We've... I don't know. We're, we're, we're lucky enough that we have... A lot of awesome people like you guys out there that'll come keep us company. Mm -hmm. so, I uh, can't I, complain. I posted the hot button question of was it safer to have stuff delivered or go to a drive through? I feel like drive through is what the science supports personally, but uh, you know. it makes sense, right? Because then you're like adding one fewer pairs of hands touching your shit. Yeah, and, it, and it's just a much more controlled environment, like. If you're getting stuff delivered, the, the delivery car is also of question, whereas a, a, presumably an establishment has some set of rules. By the way, I love in this game that uh, I, sh I shot a bench press machine out of the sky uh, that was being held that by That must a have been a strong balloon. It was a very <laughs> strong balloon, but you can still shoot it down with a slingshot. But whenever you lay on it, you're not, you're not getting psyched up. You immediately close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, like, it's like you get the real gym experience. People napping on bench press machines. I love your villager rocket. Their outfit is crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Um, it's a she. She she's a gorilla. I'm pretty sure it's a she. She's wearing a. I mean, I guess I guess I don't really know that they have uh, lipstick on. So I just always assumed it was a lady gorilla, but that's just me. Using the same dialogue stuff as the the girl characters in my island, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with liking pink. I like pink. I'm wearing a pink shirt right now. One of my best friends is pink! Yeah! Actually, most of my friends are pink. Wow. Noticing a pattern. It's a pink pattern. He means they're slightly communist. <laughs> Pinkos. Actually, that's probably also true. <laughs> I can't remember what the context of it is, but in Seinfeld at one point, he mentions a newspaper to his dad, and his dad just goes, Pinko Kami Rag! <laughs> that's, that's become my favorite thing to say about any piece of literature I don't like. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of tiger butterflies floating around here today. It's a it's a tiger day, I guess. Eh. You bitch. Gotcha. Got to show it off every time. Am I able to? No, I can't. I can't check your mail. <laughs> Somebody left a bag of weed under one of my trees. Yeah, it's oh, a drop off a rocket. <laughs> Apparently. Ah, good. I got a honeybee. I'll give that to Blathers and freak him the fuck out when he opens his goddamn museum. Them letting you po like place stuff outside, I think, is actually the secret biggest change in this game. Oh, it's Cause, so good. Because that that has made me like now I want to decorate my whole island. Like, yeah, I know. I, I got a I got a um, mau um, moai uh, thing. Yeah. That's so good. I have a little lawnmower behind my house, and if you push it, it makes like a lawnmower sound. It doesn't do anything, but you you hear the noise. And uh, I have a I have a grill in my front yard. Uh, eventually, at some point, these kebabs are going to be good to go. <laughs> Just gotta keep. keep and I got keep my going. picnic. I got my picnic basket right here, waiting for it. Yeah, no, I, I do like that, the, uh, especially because it made setting up for the uh, TopCast pod show set that much better. Because yeah. then I can just take all that shit to that beach and be like, yeah, here we go. This is a good backdrop. I've seen people do like uh, use the, the 
uh, the custom designs to set up like pixel tile sets yeah. and like get this mm -hmm. whole like 16 bit look for everything. I'm like, that's so cool. I saw somebody do the uh, steamed hams meme with a bonfire in their house, <laughs> in a little cubby, uh, but with uh, Skinner and Superintendent Chalmers, like Superintendent Chalmers pointing towards the bonfire. Good <laughs> Lord, what is happening in there? I saw someone with the whole Smash Brothers Melee character select screen on a spot in their town, and I thought that was funny. Nice. I've only made one custom design. It's like a demon monkey because it, I tried to make a face to paint like. to give me a beard. Uh, oh, that's smart. But Don't I'm you get? It doesn't can you come get across facial well. hair later? Uh, you can get like accessories that will give you uh, facial hair, probably. But I haven't gotten one yet. But let me see if I can actually put it on here. Somebody commented that for unabridged. They were like, it's just all white people with beards. And I was like, white guys with beards. And I'm like, oh my god, they're right. It's, it's true. Though. I never realized. Some, somebody has to shave. <laughs> I, I Great, you took, you took a bullet for, for one day. All right, you can sort of see I have a little bit of a beard. Hang on, let me see. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah where, where are you at? I'm right in front of where the museum will be. All right, coming. Yeah. yeah, the 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 best exhibit is on display. Hell yeah, exhibit one. <laughs> <laughs> this fascinating exhibit. Oh yeah, I see it. You can sort of see like I got kind of like sideburns going. You, you, I got, tried the Wolver to, you got the Wolverine chops. Yeah, I tried to make it like you know as, as as much on the bottom half as I could, but it's still not covering up a lot of it. I'm sure there's. I'm sure someone out there has a QR code for something rad. Which also, okay, quick tip. Uh, the Nintendo app, you can hook that up to this yeah. and, and use it to get QR codes for designs and stuff to get cool stuff that more talented people make. Uh, but you can also use it when we're online and trying to talk to each other. You can press like R1 or whatever to go into like the little talk menu. Um, or if you have the app, you can just type it on your phone to be a lot faster if that's oh, how you're communicating okay. with people. That's cool. Uh, so. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, so, you know, there you, a, a couple more quick tips for Animal Crossing. Thanks, Grant. You're the you're, pro. You're welcome. I, I try. You truly are. What happens if I put this design face? I just realized you can totally notialize this whole thing. Yeah. I, I have to stand on this side for the, there, for the angle. Is that there. what they call it? When you're I've, on your phone with your friends? Yes. <laughs> I've, I've, I've Grant, you have a different like phone it. skin. Did you buy like the advanced phone or something? Uh, hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can buy a custom skin eventually. Uh, huh? And I got that. Uh, you can't really see the face that's on my face right now. Oh, I I know what it is though, and I I wish I could I could see it. Oh uh, yeah, I, I I recognize the uh, I recognize the smile. But you got you see you see them you see them nice teeth. Now you have speckles. Okay. A little footprint pattern, but yeah, you can put stuff on your face. You can wear stuff. You can throw stuff on the designs on the ground. Can't do it. Any as far as I know, so much stuff. It's fun. It's, it's a cute. It's a cute game that once again came out at the perfect time. Yeah, that's for sure. Have you guys tried to go to like the grocery store or anything since all this nonsense started? I uh, went well, like a few days ago, not not before yeah. like the stuff that we've had put in place. Like I, I haven't gone since Monday. Was uh, there any bread when you went last? Because it was fucking gone the last time I went. Uh, I don't remember. I don't usually buy bread. I got a like a loaf of what was it? It was like honey wheat bread. I think was all that was left. Uh, I got oat bread, which is fine with my oat milk. <laughs> all the oat cows are fruitful this time of year. <laughs> they truly are. <laughs> Got, got plenty of perky erect oat nipples. Ooh. So, when they milk an oat cow, does just oats come out? Is that just how it works? Oh God! Just I'm just imagining the sound the bucket makes. Tunk 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 tunk. tunk. They just use little... oatmeal for fake vomit and everything. Oh, that's my, so good. My koi pond is ready. You know, okay, that makes, I don't think I've ever known that oatmeal is fake vomit frequently, but that makes perfect sense. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks do you like guys have, do you guys have a koi pond in your town? Yes. Yeah. yeah that's, that's all that spawns in this, 
particular lake. I have a I have a koi fish in my house to make me feel serene. It's like you keep Tyler with you at all times. Yeah. I was gonna send Tyler a picture of uh, the koi fish, like I caught a koi fish screed, but it goes, what are they so koi about? And why are they such bad spellers? And I didn't want to send the kid to because I know he has trouble spelling sometimes and he can be self-conscious about it. <laughs> it's not even really his fault. Like he's part, he's, he's slightly dyslexic, right? Yeah, but I, I was, yeah. And it was just one of those things where I was like, I don't know, but maybe this could be taken the wrong way. I'll just keep this. He would, you know he would laugh. I know he would. Yeah. If anything, it's more appropriate. I know he, Zito, and Grant have been doing Monster Hunter this no, month. No, it's been him, Zito, and Brian. I, him, Zito, I, and Brian, have, that's right. Not you, that's right. I, I have not played the Mon Han. I just beat the story of it for the first time, and I've been finally, like, getting into it now that they added this busted-ass equipment that carries you through the whole story. Like, yes, I, this is what I wanted. I tried getting into it a number of times, but it's, from what I understand, it's a real time sync game, and I don't have the time to sink you yeah it it pioneered the pseudo mmo like the you're only interacting with maybe up to four people but you play it like it's an mmo like it it is a lot of time that's just the tree shadow Do these trees deliver any different types of wood I swear every big shadow in anything that isn't the ocean is a friggin black bass the most metal of fish apparently so, so I've been told. Uh, another fun thing I discovered is if you, after they've been in your town for a few days, uh, you can you just get the option to just gift, like give gifts to villagers. Um, oh, yeah. really? Okay. And if they like it and you give them clothes, they will just put it on. And so now I've got this one deer in my town who's wearing these six shades. Uh, I might do that for Rocket. There's no way I'd ever want to switch up Rocket's style, though. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to, at some point, make an ordinance on my town board that says everyone has to wear pants. I'm going to see if I can get everyone in my town wearing pants. I'll show up with nothing. Like, uh, do, do they recognize those keywords? I mean, they, they won't recognize keywords or anything. It's just I'm going to put the thing on the on the board for people to read. And then when they see everyone in town is wearing pants, it'll it'll there will be a, a lore so, to it. Well, I, I won't be allowed. I won't be allowed in your town then. Unfortunately, my cardigan not, bans not my in pants. that outfit. Let's wear not, something appropriate. Not in my cardigan. I can't. There are children in this town. I, I feel like I, I own a cardigan. They aren't that long. Like I I definitely be shirt cocking it at this point. Also, I, I feel like we didn't talk too much about it, but Nook Miles are a, a terrific addition to this. They're so good. It just gives a constant feedback loop of, hey, do more stuff. Yeah, that 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 is what made me feel like, you know what, this would make an amazing mobile game, the Nook Miles system. It's just like, here's your daily check-in stuff. This is what you should do today. All right, see you tomorrow. I don't know why mobile games feel like it's necessary to cordon off gameplay. Because like, like with gets energy the energy resources. But can you imagine if a game just like you know, it, it, like e even if it like charged a reasonable amount or was supported by ads and you could t pay to turn off all the ads forever, if it just was a good game? There are only, there are a few games on my phone that do that, <laughs> and I like them. Right. Imagine that. But, but then like, also imagine you're like a CEO of a phone game company and they're like, but here's the amount of money we could make if we put paywalls in front of everything. Yeah, and they'll, they'll cite And that number's that. way bigger. Yeah, like fucking Fate Go got like, what was it? One, $1.5 billion? Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Like no no number of sixty dollar games is gonna get you to one point five billion, the way it works. I, I mean I mean, about two hundred million 
Lockwood. <laughs> yeah, what game has <laughs> sold 200 million copies? I guess none. <laughs> Wasn't that like an issue, I feel like, with the DSi at some point? Japan was like, everyone in this country has bought one. We need to make a new model because we have no one left to sell to. I would. I hadn't heard that, but I believe it. I. They were everywhere. Like I think that's why the new DS or whatever it was came out after that. I got a tiger beetle. I pounced first. Well, I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, Where? fly it, no, or spread my, it on toast? That's my nook mile thing. Oh, oh they're, they're, they're flying all over the place today on this oh, island. Oh shit! I can't even. Like, I, I found like three or four. I'll, I'll shout it out the next time I see one. I can't tell the butterflies apart. The, the paper, paper ones are the big white ones. Okay. Yeah, they're the big one, the big white ones. Yeah. The 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 one to keep an eye out for, and I think they I think they come out more at night. Um, are the blue Good. ones the emperor butterflies? Those things sell for like four thousand a piece. So like oh those wow. Are, those oh are the nice. Big ones to hoard. My first day, I caught like. Three football fish, which are apparently pretty decent. I kind of like that's an angler fish. It's like it's a football fish. It's a football. I, it's I a football. It. Yeah, th that was the first thing I thought of. It's not a football. It's a fish. It's a fish, Luigi. You didn't. You didn't catch make it. it. You didn't make it. I chiseled it. What's great to me is I watched that cartoon genuinely as a kid, and now when people make memes from it, I'm like, I remember that episode. I, 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 I had never seen any of this shit. It. it exclusively lives in YouTube poop for me. I only, like, I, I, for the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, I'd only seen, like, two episodes because I had a VHS of it when I was a kid, and that was it. See the episode where he goes, it's a football, I chiseled it. They're trying to teach the cavemen teamwork, because this is Mario World, so they live in the dinosaur world, thus Yoshi exists. Uh, and so I took a trip to the dinosaur world. Uh, so, so they're teaching the cavemen how to you know, have team tactics with football, and then the Koopalings kidnap Mario and challenge them to a football game in Koopa's castle called Koopa. And, I was uh, fallen for hours. Angry Joe, four hours. That's all the, I'm hearing from you. And uh, <laughs> the line I remembered from that episode before the, you know, the whole I chiseled it bit came the, became the meme uh, is when they're playing football, Bully Koopa, a.k.a. Roy Koopa, uh, tackles Mario and puts him in the ground. He goes, and Mario goes, what are we playing? Australian rules? And uh, Bully Koopa goes, yeah, I'm going to take you down under. Six feet down under. And I was like, oh, that's, shit. I was like, that's sick. I love that. That's cold. The Super Mario Brothers cartoon, was that, like, that that was written in America, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's okay, all so, American. So all of that was prelay. So that wasn't even a, like, that wasn't even a dubbing thing. That was just, nope. this is how we're doing it. This is how this is how we are writing this show, and uh, I, as a kid, I appreciated it a lot. As an adult, I've gone back to try and watch it, and I'd say you might need chemical enhancements to find it really fun. <laughs> Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the, do Mario. the Mario. He's not even doing the Mario. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. My favorite thing is the positional audio. Yes. <laughs> Karen, I found a paper butterfly if you need it. Where? I'm, uh, I'm, let me I have no it. ladder. It better be down here. It, it's, it's on the ground level, I believe. It's right behind Nick's house. Okay. I'll keep watching it. I'll keep bullying it and making sure it doesn't fly away. Yeah, just beat it up. Push it around like the little nerd butterfly it is. Stupid I'm selling, paper I'm, butterfly. I'm just selling Tom's kids some weed. Where? Here it is. He it's lie. Fluttering. Well, now it's fluttered behind the tree, so it's hard to see. Right. I. Don't right see in front it. of me. I don't see it. 
You don't see That's it? That's interesting, are, yeah. Are spawns different? Okay, I think so they I'm are. Gonna catch, then I'm going to catch it. Yeah, no, then you go catch it. Let me see if you pull a, a bug from thin air. All right, here yeah, we go. I, I'm actually curious. I don't see shit. Yeah! Oh my did. god, magic! <laughs> a bug from the sky! My nether bug, behold! I think I think he's I think he's lying because he, he probably just had that bug in his net the whole time. Nope, because I just released that mm, one. Here's know, the other I one I had. No, he keeps it in his sleeve. It's just I've, we've seen it do this. He does this every Friday. Like it's whatever. I, yeah, I do like to hide bugs in my sleeves. It's a pastime of mine. I saw a mosquito in my apartment the other day, and thinking about what that means now and how much scarier a mosquito is. I bet days. it wasn't a mosquito. It was probably a water bug. Might have been. Yeah, we got more of those here than we got mosquitoes. That, that is what we have. If it was massive, it probably wasn't a mosquito. Okay, it was massive, so okay. Yeah, yeah. they're, 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 that they're all around less, here. That makes me less scared. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're fine. Yeah, those things don't drink blood. They're just Good. big and creepy. They are big and creepy, that's for sure. I saw one fly in as I was playing, as I was uh, doing the Animal Crossing stream, and I was like, oh no, I don't have a net, but I do have a target bag. I'm going to put it on the end of this little stick here, and I'm going to see if I can catch him, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> and my, uh, the spiders that live around my house feast on them, those water bugs. If, I, if, if it didn't require, like, you know any sort of equipment to preserve them or contain them or anything like that. Animal Crossing has made me realize that I would love to have a fish and bug collection IRL. Dude, it's so fun. I used to do it as a kid. I mean, if you don't mind that they're dead, you could certainly keep a bunch of bugs. <laughs> Very true. You could just have a ton of bug corpses, which uh, would be weird. I mean, there, there are those people like, I mean, uh, Buffalo Bill, he keeps all those butterflies pinned up. Yeah, yeah. Serial killer shit. It's just a hobby. Yeah, eating eating cereal by the handful and keeping dead Oh, bugs. come on. Now and look. then drinking the milk. <laughs> Fortunate <a> serial killer. <laughs> I had a rock collection when I was a kid, but that was mostly just because our elementary school playground had a lot of gravel and I would just occasionally look through it and find something that looked like, you know, really shiny or like had like quartz and stuff in it. So Dude, there's like, a whole there's a whole mineral like store that. like uh, that like I don't, I don't remember exactly where it is. Some some common town square. There's like an antique mall. I don't know if we've, we've taken you there. There's just somebody there's some dude that sells like all these like minerals and rocks and shit. Huh. It's so cool. I got some bismuth there because it looks like fucking Inception ass archaeology. So fucking cool. Speaking of bismuth, have either of you seen the uh, the Tick on Amazon? I no, I haven't. And I loved that show. It's it's, it's pretty good. Like their uh, their original series of the Tick. I know I watched the cartoon as a kid. I know there was there was a was it oh Patrick the Warburton who was in like the, the live the action one? Dow. Yeah. Okay. The Bui Boopa Bui Dow. I just remember chair getting written on the moon. Uh, part or of the word chair getting partially, written. Partially, yeah. And it's there for the rest of the, the series. Rest of the series, yeah. No, it's great. Because Chairface wanted to put his name up there. Right, Chairface. I forgot <laughs> that was the villain. That's good. Tick Shit, is a good, Tick like is a stuff. great hero parody. I you guys so might actually points. like the uh, Amazon Prime show. I haven't seen the second season, but I thought the first season was really good. Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking football fish in the middle of the day. I thought they were nocturnal. Oh, there goes my fishing rod. All of my tools are disintegrating. I felt nerdy and cool i watched a nature documentary the other day about like deep sea stuff and before they named a fish i saw it and recognized it from animal crossing and i was like holy shit that's an oar fish isn't it oh and the oar fish yes <laughs> and, and then the thing was like a creature rarely seen the oar fish i'm like yeah i do it i was watching um god this was when we were still in the middle of the natural wonders campaign i was watching uh i think like blue earth 
you know, one of those BBC documentaries. Yeah. And there's this bottom dwelling fish that looks exactly like the bloater fish that Zito described. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? And I had to take a picture of it. I'm like, Zito, is, is this the basis of the bloater fish? He's like, what the fuck is that? That's real? <laughs> Sometimes life imitates art. Like, it, it, down to the stupid fucking expression on its face, I'm like, no <laughs> way. Zito was just bummed he blew his cover. Probably. <laughs> Man, na nature's weird. Nature's got a lot of weird shit. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Deep sea stuff is terrifying. That's right. You have a you have a phobia of water that you can't see the bottom of. That's yeah. Just if I can't see the bottom, I don't trust it. Do you have that? Do you, is does that fear also uh, pertain to the dark? Um, like anything not necessarily. Like the what? What's what's gonna happen in the dark? Like so what? Just a a, a see, robber? That's, some, that's what's some crazy mugger. to me. Is like no. I like if dumb. I if if I had a phobia, I do think it's like the dark. That's because you're a little I, baby. I, I fully admit I get uncomfortable if I can't see. Uh, uh, okay, Kieran. Here's the test. Did you have a basement <laughs> when growing up? I lived in an unfinished basement. Okay. Whenever you had to go upstairs and you had to turn off the lights from that basement. Did you run up the stairs as fast as you fucking could because the monster was going to get you? Uh, a few times until I started living with him. Okay. <laughs> He's actually I'm pretty chill you got, when you get to know. I'm glad until you got to know your monster. <laughs> Kagi Yukai, thanks for the 38 months, dude. I'd turn on my alert notifications, but they're all set to whatever my channel's notifications are and would be very jarring for this one. For every I've been time somebody weird issues with my OBS alerts. I need to I need to go in and change them. Yeah, I've been swapping mine out. I was having an issue where I couldn't turn them off the other day and it was like I was I can't remember what I was doing, but I was like, alright, I wanna focus on this, so I'll just like mute uh, notifications. And somehow that made them louder, and uh, I couldn't get it to stop. I'm thinking about going back to regular SOBS. I feel like yeah. Streamlabs is getting real bloated. That's what I've been using. I've, I've, I've just been sticking with straight up OBS. Yeah, and just the fact that they took the dashboard away from the Streamlabs version, which is like, that was the only reason I was using it. That is weird. Right? That did seem like the biggest advantage it had was like you can change all the stuff from the app. But they had to like include like a whole browser in the program at that point. So like I guess I get it. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, I don't have enough materials to craft. I should just go buy it from the store. I'm I'm lazy like that where if I break a tool, I'm like, I don't wanna craft it again, just give it to me. <laughs> Here, have, have 700 bells. I'll make that back. It's like, um, did either of you play Link Between Worlds? I didn't no, I didn't. Far in it. I, I, I played like up to like the first or second dungeon. I didn't get very far. I know about the, the, the tool things they have in that, though. I assume that's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, where, where, where you have to like, where you find it, but then you have to rent it from the shop every time yeah. you die. That's what that's what this feels like to me. It's like ah, it's gone. Well, time to go rent another one. Guess I'll just get more. Let's see. Rusted part in my. <gasps> yeah, you want to uh, collect the keep rusted those. parts? Yeah. Keep them. Oh, keep them. Okay. That you means, need. That, that what means is it? Gulliver was here yesterday. <laughs> I, I you need I, what? I, I need to build the the robot. Oh shit. I, yeah, I don't know how many you need, but I know that uh, that was one of the few things I looked up because I considered throwing it away and I was like, I want to know before I do that. And yeah, there's apparently like a neat robot model you build with them. Yeah, there's a there's a kaiju that looks like legendary Godzilla and a giant robot that looks like a fucking Jaeger. Oh fuck. Yeah, I yeah. need those. And you get you get the robot with rusted parts. Oh, man. Have any of you guys seen a shooting star yet? I have. No. Okay, if you see a shooting star, make sure you don't have, like, any tools or something in your hand. And then look up with, like, the right stick and press A and you'll make a wish on it. 
Ah. Oh. Okay. Nice. I did not know that when I saw it, but I, I got this like weird little musical cue, and I'm like, what's that? Oh, cool, a shooting star. And people in my chat were like, oh, wish on it, wish on it. I'm like, what? And it's gone by the time I noticed. <laughs> Cause yeah, that'll. I think. I think like stuff will show up on your beach the next day if you do that. I've I've only seen one, and I and I did not know how to activate it. And then the next day, Blather's sister was in town, and she explained it. Ugh. I can make a thumb piano if I have more cans. I what the one. fuck it's, is a thumb piano? It's a, uh, you know you know those things where uh, you have those like bent brass bars over like a little hollow tube and you click them and they go like ting tang. Oh, ting. It's okay, like a, yes. It's like it's yeah. like a baby xylophone. Gotcha. Yeah. It's another instrument, so it's important. That way you can have a band. I'm definitely going to make a room in my house at least, if not all of them, have a bunch of interactable stuff, so when people come over, we can be a jam, jam band. I want more interactable things like I I keep saying this but I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna beat an NES emulator from the GameCube one. I I sincerely oh, doubt that'd be that amazing. Be like they have the chance to for DLC shit now more than ever. Like but with how stingy they've been with all of yeah. the Switch online stuff, I can't imagine they would. It's just like, man, I'm still, so to up, cool. I'm still waiting for them to update the SNES library. I know. I want more stuff on that. Uh, There's only like I, a couple games that I play. Like, put Secrets of Mana on there, man. Seriously, Mario RPG. Um, but the the NES games. Yeah, I don't want to I don't I don't hook of... up my SNES Classic just to play that. I mean, <laughs> it's sitting right here. But the the uh, the NES games, the first one. So I'd be really surprised if they brought them back. But I would be stoked. But I, I do wish just in general more more of the items you got were interactable. Like even if it was like really small, like nothing things. Uh, like I have a book, like just a, a book laying open on a table in my in my house. You, you could know, open and close it. Cool. I was hoping you could open and close it, or if you like just pressed on it, a page would turn or something. Like just like yeah. something. But it's literally just there to look at. And like a lot of stuff is like that. And there's a lot of stuff that has very little interaction things. Because I have a washing machine that I can turn on and off and stuff. And, like, things like that, I wish, like, every object just had something. Yeah. Or even if not just every object. Like, uh, there's... One of the first craftable things I found is the ability to build this wooden block thing. Like, if you could knock down the blocks and then build something new out of them, that'd be kind of mm. cool. Yeah, like a little block toy thing. Mm-hmm. Like, even if it's just something, like, inane. Like a made, little thing. I made a little horseshoe thing, and I th thought I'd be able to play horseshoes with my villagers. But it's, yeah, it's me too. Oh, that'd be really cool. It's like you, you stand a certain distance away, and you tap A, and hopefully you get it. I I don't have it yet, but I saw someone on a stream had it. You can get a timer, uh, and if you have people over and you use it, you can set like a time, and it will display how many fish or bugs you you and everyone else have caught in that amount of time. Oh, so you can, you can do like a little oh. contest? Yeah, you can do like little bug catching and fishing contests. That is cool. Have your own little have your own little Stardew festival. Yeah. Speaking of which, either you play Stardew Valley. The I tiniest bit. That's like the, that's like the only game I could think of that comes kind of close to this Zen mentality, and I know that's basically just Harvest Moon, but yeah, it's like it and Harvest Moon are two games that after I played this, I feel like I like I realized I would love. But I've just never actually given them time. Yeah, you would you would love them. This is they're they're making just this more closer to Stardew Valley than Animal Crossing, like at a yeah. point. Yeah, you you'd love Stardew. Hell, I like, love Stardew. I haven't played it All the shit that you liked minute, about but... Terraria is is are those games. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think I am a, a that kind of gamer on my own time frequently. So, I probably would love Stardew. I've just never really given it time. They added multiplayer to it, too. It's off. Mm -hmm. And it's on Switch. It's a, I can't use my excuse of it's a PC game, but I'm a oh, console boy. Yeah, I got it on PC and it's It's great on PC. Mm -hmm. You can mod it. Ooh. I heard I shouldn't overweed my island as if like they'll stop growing or something, but 
I highly I think, doubt that. I think weeds will continuously come back. It's just there might be the occasional uh, recipe that'll be like, takes 20 weeds, and if you don't have any, that'll maybe be a little annoying to collect. But if you use the Nook Miles to get tickets to go to random, randomly generated islands. You get all the weeds you want. Yeah, there, there's always a ton of weeds there. I'm keeping uh, all the north part of my island. Like, it's full of nothing but cedars and weeds. It's the wilderness. <laughs> Just a nice place to escape to when the people of your town get on your nerves. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know, and apparently this has been a thing all along, like, for the whole series. Cedars will only grow in, like, the like I think the top half. Yeah, of the, the north map. part. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing until it was like, you can only put it here. Like, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even know that these trees were on my island until you gave me that ladder. <laughs> until you could climb up and see them yourself. Yeah. Now I believe. I like those kinds of trees because when the Christmas event happens, they put Christmas lights. <gasps> Ooh. Shit. Man, now I'm gonna have to keep playing this game for like nine months. I'm. I am excited to see this game like in people's islands in like a month or two. Like for the for the for the handful of people who stick around and diligently play, yeah. this game gives you so yeah, many options adapt. to customize stuff, and I can't wait to see what people do with it. I I fucked a little bit with like those you know using designs to make like little pixely textures and stuff mm -hmm. on the the 3ds one. I really want to go whole hog on mine and like totally customize it, but I want to get all the shit first. Yeah. Like I want the I want to do just all like the main quest stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm 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 kind of playing every day, trying to mostly focus on whatever the the obvious thing in the town they're pushing me towards. Like, hey, gather these materials to make this person appear or something. Uh, and and once once that kind of levels out is when I'm gonna start going into city planner mode. And yeah. Like, All right. Like I kind of already need to move this way. I kind of have an idea of there's like this really long patch divided by two rivers that I think I'm just going to be like, all right, this is this long area here is going to be my orchard and I'm going to have all the fruit trees right that, here. Yep, that's what I have. Uh, and then probably end up moving the museum because right now I have it as a beachfront museum. And oh, nice. All the other stuff is like kind of on the other side of the island and I'll be like, I'll just move all that there. So I have like all the established shops in one area. Yeah, that, that, I, I want to set up like a little, you know, downtown area. Like every everybody's living like on a street and stuff. That that's what I'd want to do. So I've did, which you know probably won't be able to do until the fucking for a week or two. Yeah, for 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 a hot minute, but at least yeah. I feel like this hilltop area up here would be really good for my museum. Not that I mind where it's at right now, but mm -hmm. I'm just hoping there's a good chance to move everything when I need to. It sounds like there is. I think people were saying that in chat too. I think. From what I heard, the only things you can't change, it's like if you look at the map of your island, you can't change where like the rivers go into the ocean like that. Those will always be that way. OK. And I think the resident services might be permanent, but I might be wrong on that. That might be able to move. Like the town center? Yeah. But I think yeah. pretty much everything else is customizable. I just let my people basically like, hey, where do you want to live? Yeah, sure, I don't care. Put your house there. I, I tried know. to tried to plan out where my guys were, but then after already I am regretting it and wishing I'd put them other places. Mm-hmm. I I'm, I feel you. I'm just it's letting hard being a town planner. Yeah, I'm just letting chaos reign, basically. Like I I have Look, I bought my house here the same as you. I'm not gonna tell you where to put your tent. <laughs> No, we all elected you as the supreme leader. I am the one here with opposable thumbs and advanced thought. I will decide where your things go, tiny creature. I am the human here. You are the animal. Top of the food chain, motherfucker. I was uh, unjustly upset, by the way, when I when it came to naming my island. I was going to call it like Isla del Lanny, because uh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm uncreative. But, um, uh... It, that took up too many spaces, basically. Like, I only had and 12 they characters put to work so with. so many dots to make you think it's longer. Yeah. <laughs> they give you such a long space there. And then when it came to uh, 
everybody shouting out their suggestions. One of the motherfuckers on my island yell, yelled out, Isla Del Biceps! I'm like, that's more characters than I was given! Fuck you! <laughs> I, yeah, they get to do way bigger ones. I hate it. Don't lie to me, game! I named mine Izet, which I don't even really remember where I came up with that, but that was the name of my town on the DS one, and then I made that my town in the 3DS one. I was like, eh, I'll just stay the same. I like that yours is named the moon, Kieran. I should have, if I was smart, I should have done the lowercase t. I wish I could go back and change it. Oh yeah, so that when it, uh... It's one of they out. do at the end or the middle of a sentence, it flows better. Yeah. Oh man, if you just named your island God, now returning to God. <laughs> you go, kid. I'm gonna sell you some more weed. I Five wish I could have bells. more fucking inventory spots than 30. This is not enough. You had a crafting system, you should give me more slots. Very I true. I've been told there is another inventory upgrade, but it's that's like tough I would believe it with how like it is on the screen. It looks like you could have more space. Like yeah. I, if I bought a backpack, that should just add more space. I know. I was really upset actually that backpacks are a, backpacks are a thing you can buy and they have zero effect on your inventory. I <laughs> that would be a thing. I was also hoping I got the I don't know if you guys have got it yet, but the little tool wheel. Uh, yeah, and I was I was hoping that would first thing I got. I I was hoping that would take them out of your inventory. I but, know. I thought that's what it would fucking like, do. That would be nice. It's kind of crazy to me. Like like it's, it, as someone who's played these games forever, and it's always been like this. It amazes me they haven't changed that yet. Like I I don't. I know. I don't think equipment and stuff should take up your inventory. Like that's silly. They should go on like a tool belt, a very special like inventory piece. Like, they, they brought over the Breath of the Wild, like, equipment thing, right? But they didn't come with the idea of you. everything has, like, a trillion slots and you can get more so easily. Oh, well. They've, they've made decorating your house a lot nicer, though. Yeah. Having, go, being able to go into, like, the little decorator mode is such a godsend compared to... Having to put things down. Having to push and, and push pull and shit, pull. and then you get them in a certain area where you can't get it, and it's just yeah. like, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how this game grows, and they've, I think they've said basically that, like, holiday events will be distributed through, like, free DLC updatey things. That's so, interesting. So, so people can just skip so, to yeah. So people can't skip to see it. Uh, and also, depending on how long they support this game, meaning like different years could have different events for holidays, and that like excites me so much. That oh yeah, the same thing. Like, or at least that there's the potential for it to not be the same thing. They totally could. Um, but that that makes me excited to see where this goes because I want to I want to know what they did, and they they clearly put a ton of a ton of polish in this, so yeah. I have a feeling they'll do a lot for, for supporting Nintendo's it. seal of approval. I'm going to take always... a picture for my Nook Miles thing. We should do that. Oh, yeah, yeah let's yeah, get yeah. a group picture. Want to go to the... Where, where do you want to meet? You want to meet at the set? Sure. I also kind of hate that you don't get the... Uh the hour by hour music until a bit later and it's just going to be this I hate it it's going to be so this guitar bad. riff for like a week <laughs> I'll show off this thing you need Yeah. Wait, no, don't hang on. Don't I do took that. My, I took I took one for me. Here, all right. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, the camera app on the phone. I think you get some Nook miles for using it. Yeah, I did. Red. All right, I'll get my Polaroid. Here we go. Hey. 
There we go. Dab on. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. If your if your neighbors get an exclamation point and run up to you and act like they really gotta talk to you, there's a chance they will teach you how to display your emotions. There's a chance they'll teach there's, me how to just how to feel. They've also one, come up to me and just gone, "Hey, I have a shirt for you." <laughs> one of my uh, neighbors here, the one in the really nice house, is never out. Like they're super practicing social distancing. This guy right in here. Well, let's see his house. Maybe maybe he's got a good reason. Yeah, why would you leave if it's this cool? Am I not allowed in while you're in there? Uh, it might take a second while I'm oh, there we go. walking in. Turn on this radio. Yeah, what the hell are you doing in here, Cody? Cody's sitting in here and he's got a radio and he has it. His workbench kicks ass! And he's Ooh, got an Ikea table! He's got a blue workbench. Oh, he sleeps in his cocoon. Can I sleep in it? <laughs> Damn it, I want it to zip up. If you could just, like, I saw while well, you're way into it. Hey, what Look at this guy. He, he is a snide-looking bear, isn't I he? Think, I think Cody lived in my first Animal Crossing town on the game. Oh, he just yelled the fuck at you. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little too pumped up. He's really happy. All right, will he react to, to my feelings when you're not talking to him? I don't know how many busts has Lanny lifted to earn that title, but I'll triple it. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> no, maybe not. I'm gonna hey, turn buddy, on your. I'm gonna clap at you. Clap, clap to me. Sometimes they they like it when you emote at them. I guess he doesn't. The hell have you been up to in here? I can't sleep. Caught me at the end of my mid to late day home strength routine. I, I want to chat. Where where have you been? I have not seen you outside since we started. Finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house. Sure do. Can finally do jumping jack without ripping a hole in his home. That's good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Karen's having trouble sleeping. <laughs> Wham! It's a bit of a restless sleeper. Oh, well, I'm tossing and turning. Oh boy. Oh, he doesn't want to scream at Grant. Oh, oh, he's he's confused. As, uh, have you heard about resident services? Is what the question mark was. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior? I, his, I don't know why I have trouble trusting him. I think it's the eyebrows. It is. Oh, his his eyes, and he's always looking. He's just got a shifty look. He I really knew Cody does. from way back then. Me and Cody go way back. I All right, one 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 more funny thing I want to show you guys. Uh, yeah. Fo follow me up here towards the river. Okay, Nick, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Okay. Oh, I know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, pull out your shovel and dig some holes on this side, on your side of the river. Gotcha. I will build a barrier. Yes, just build a build a barrier along along the river. Nobody's getting through this. Oh yeah? Well, check me out. Ha! -ha! Oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold on. No. Oh, oh, I can clear it. I got him. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm trapped. <laughs> Oh, there oh. we go. Okay. Hit him with nets. Oh, no. Can we both be trapped or is it the one person Yeah, you can. No, you can. You, absolutely. I had three okay. people trapped before. Right. Then you just cleared it. I'm not curious. Oh, here. We'll, we, I'll, I'll dig more holes and then we can each get in one. We just got to do it right next to each other. This hole is my hole. It was made for me. Made for me. Oh, okay. That one's... Okay, I guess that one wasn't close enough to the... All right. So, like, straight down. Here we go. <laughs> ah, damn it, I cleared it. <laughs> I'll try it again. Eh. Wow. Wow. Your I, leaps I, are too great. I got the I got the fucking like power pole. Look at this thing extend. It's... Look at that. Like it's it's collapsible or something. Here, yeah, I guess I, guess I never really hole. noticed. There, that'll help. Finally, somebody was able to hit that one. 
just gotta hit it straight on. Oh, I right. went over you, holy kick, shit! Kick through my leg, my brain. Le Leapfrog Grant. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll grab that one, don't worry. You just gotta stay I'm, right there. I'm breaking out though. Come on, you gotta get it. Right. Yeah! yeah all picture, three. picture, 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 everybody! Yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. times. Uh, I think this is where we'll wrap the stream for now. I still gotta make myself some supper. Sounds like a plan. Alright, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you're all yeah. doing well. And hope everybody out there is doing good, too. Thank you so much for you too. popping in and supporting and making all this possible. See you guys next time. See y'all. everybody.